Hey, welcome back guys, it's Slider here, and we are back on Sky Factory. And today, I'm going to start something new, and we're going to talk about it right off the bat. Well, I'm not going to be doing anything new, necessarily, but I'm no, you know, I'm constantly, like, trying to come up with fun stuff to do in each episode, and stuff that I think is going to be interesting or whatever. And, you know, I think it's time to get a little bit of feedback from you guys. So what I'm going to start doing is, at the beginning of each episode, I'm going to go ahead and kind of give you, like, three options uh, for what you guys want, like, the next episode to be, or technically it would be the episode after the next, because, like, I'm going to post this video and already be making the next video, so whatever your guys' comments are on this video saying, like, what you want it to be, that'll be in the video after next. I don't know if that makes sense, but basically where we want to take the series. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and I've been kind of looking around at things I want to do, and there's three things that I really want to take a good look at. I want to dive into Thomcraft some more. Right, because we haven't touched Thongcraft in quite a while. Also, we have not touched on witchery at all. And so that's going to be an option. And then thirdly, the I'm starting to get, uh, well, let's see. Um, oh, go away. There we go. I've got 36 blocks of uh, Awakened Draconian blocks. So I can probably do absolutely everything I need to do to get my, like, my armor all pimped out and stuff like that to take on the Chaos Dragon. And uh, take it on the Chaos Dragon would then lead in the direction of doing the uh, Draconic uh, Generator or whatever it's called. It's Reactor, the Draconic Reactor. And so I want you guys to go ahead and in the comments tell me which ones you would rather me do. If you'd rather me head into Witchery, go ahead and put Witchery. If you'd rather see me head into uh, the Draconic uh, Reactor, which is from this Chaos Shard and Chaos Quartz right around here somewhere. Yes, Draconic Reactor, and start getting some ultimate power, because these are all towards the achievement goals of eventually trying to get like 1, point billion, or 1 billion RF per tick, which I think would be a heck of an accomplishment. But uh, that or <coughs> uh, Witchery. So Witchery, Thomcraft, or Draconic Evolutions uh, Reactor. Those are kind of the options for the episode that I'm going to be doing, not next episode, but the episode after that. And then the next episode, I'll give three more options, and we'll kind of head out in that direction. That way, it kind of forces me to go by what you guys are saying, so I don't get stuck in a rut of doing the same thing over and over again, like I've done with the uh, reactors lately and with Draconic Evolution, and kind of bounce things around a little bit, add a little variety. So yeah. But uh, today, we're just going to do a fun little boss battle, and I just want to kind of show you this stuff. I was looking around, and I realized... <laughs> so... Remember when I set this thing up over here to automatically process um, the cyanite, the, the leftover from the reactor? Cyanite turns into plutonium. And I was like, well, what is plutonium good for? Well, plutonium is good for creating uh, these blocks right here. Uh, ludicrite. Now, ludicrite, I could probably just make a world with ludicrite and it would be really, really easy. But I figured, you know what? I've got my emerald generation going on over there. I've got the plutonium being built or whatever. And so I just figured it's right here. And then these are, t this is the emerald block and, you know, I'm sure I have two in here. Yep. They produce every now and then. And so Ludicrite, it, it makes all the difference in the world. These things are pretty freaking sweet. So let me pop this guy in here and I'll kind of show you. Okay. So I'm assuming that was my, that was really, really loud. I'm assuming that was my anti-rain sensor thing going off, but if you notice, it's still raining. It just doesn't work. It's just poopy. It's very disappointing. Very, very disappointing. I was really hoping that thing would work, because I get so tired of the rain. But anyways, back to Ludicrite. Uh, apparently, Ludicrite was the best block you could possibly have for reactors. And if we look, now, first of all, I also miscounted, and I can actually put four more Enderian blocks on these guys to make them more productive. But right now, with those four blocks, I'm getting 18,000 RF per tick. With those other four blocks, I'm guessing maybe like 2,000 or 20,000. But I switched over one of my reactors or one of my turbines over to Lodokrite. And you can see I'm only getting 1,782 um, RPMs. I can't get any faster. That's, that's max steam right there. Um, but I'm getting 28,000 RF per tick. So if I get this all switched over to Lodokrite and I have currently have 10 turbines... I will be getting over 280,000 RF per tick. That'd be pretty freaking sweet. Pretty freaking sweet. All right. But anyways, um, this, like I said, this is actually, well, I didn't say it this time, and this time it's going to be true. This is actually going to be a pretty short episode. I just kind of want to show you that I am constantly working to up my power, and eventually I'm going to use um, 
the block builders from RF Tools, and I'm going to kind of create a cool looking power station. I'll end up relocating that guy um, over the top of this thing, and then on top of it is where I tend on putting the Draconic uh, Reactor. And then I'm just going to wrap all these guys around. So my reactor is going to be in the middle, and then the turbines are all wrapped around. That's that's my inevitable goal. But I'm going to have to move them. And let's be honest, I don't want to break all these blocks and then replace them all. So I'll probably use the block mover to do it. We'll see. But anyways, we need to make something real quick. Uh, do I have any? Oh, no, it's in my thing. We're going to go take on the Gaia Guardian 2. It's just a more pimped out boss, apparently. It's... It's the best way I can describe it. A more pimped out boss. Um, but I need you right here because I believe this was the recipe. It's just a terrace deal with four Gaia. Gives me a Gaia spirit ingot. <coughs> and that guy should spawn me the next one. I didn't see anything in the book about needing to do a new um, like ritual thing area. So I think I'm just going to be able to tap on it with this ingot and get it going. But before I do that, I want to beef up my... Oh, no. Actually, it's in storage. Um... Where is it at? It's the modifier guy. This guy right here. Upgrade modifier. Yeah, where are you? You were... You were, like, over here before I built all this. Um, are you in, like, a random bag? I wouldn't be surprised if I put you in a random bag. Huh. <laughs> Let's grab these two and see if I did that with them. Alright, anything in here? Nope, just random randomness. Okay. How about you? No, where is my upgrade modifier? You were like right here. Where did I put you? Did I set you back down? I didn't set you back down anywhere. Hold on. Upgrade. Okay, well, I think I can make another one. They weren't expensive. Yeah, it's just one core. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a core real quick. Because I kind of want to beef this guy out, so... Um, my sword, that is. I just want to make this battle as fast as possible. So let me get uh, two of you. And just throw you in a furnace real quick. Uh, redstone, there you go. Make that happen. <clears throat> and now... You. There we go. And then upgrade. I think I'm going to need the Draconic Cores... Um, or no, it's this one. The Awakened Cores. So we're going to need four of those because I'm going to need six. So four, six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four Wyvern Cores. What, did I make a recipe for the... Oh, I already made it. Okay. So I'm going to need six of these. It might take a minute. Um, oh, I just got to break down those blocks. Uh, awakened. There we go. Oh, look at all that. Look at all that awakened. That's just awesome. Okay, awaken core. We need six of you. Go! One, two, three, go. Shouldn't take too long to make these. And then, uh, basically, I'm going to upgrade this bad boy here. My sword. Yes, that's what we're going to do. Here we go. I'm just going to put all three of you in here. So, we'll set so now it's a thunderstorm. Okay. That's a lot of lightning. Oh, oh, wow, wow, wow. It needs nether stars. That is so funny. I'm like, why is the thing blowing up? It needs nether stars. That was kind of scary. I was like, that's a lot of lightning going off. What's going on around here? Oh, man. I'm really loving this freaking big reactor thing. Although, I didn't know how big they were going to get. So, I don't necessarily like the build. It's just kind of in the middle of everything here. So, we'll end up rearranging that. But, <clears throat> let's get our awakened cores. You're still not done, huh? What are you in the process of doing? Um, oh, wow. You've got to make a whole bunch of ingots. Let me grab a stack and help this process out here. And You know what? I can throw one stack in here, one stack in here, and one stack in there. Oh, no, that's pulverizer. Oh, you already have them. There we go. Let's speed that cooking process up there. That should be better. You know what? Can I do you in the induction furnace too? Nope. Got to have something to mix you with. Okay. Not a problem. 
that's still, you know, it's moving. Come on, you gotta be close. You got to be close. Yep, 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 yep. Almost done. So you would figure. You would figure since I've already got those cores done and it would start. Oh, there it goes. It produced one. Okay, there it goes. And there's another one. And the draconic ingots are almost done. Okay, there's three. All right, so we're going to just have a really pimped out sword. I don't know how much harder the Gaia Guardian is going to be. <clears throat> But I have a feeling my Draconic Armor un, you know, unmodified should still be okay. I did put Soulbound on all my stuff. Uh, it was just a, a piece of advice I saw somewhere. Uh, basically just simplifies trying to get back in. So that way I always have flight. Uh, I don't have to worry about like you know grabbing my angel wings or going grab another set of flying armor to get back where I need to go. So, Okay, cool. There is those. So we're going to go ahead and throw you in there. And I'm thinking attack damage is all I really really probably worry about RF capacity I'm not worried about because I carry it so I think I'm just gonna do attack damage oh I can only do up to four okay um, well area I'm not really worried about so we'll go ahead and increase RF and then I should be able to charge this bad boy up pretty quickly over here like so and let me charge you up too while we're at it All right, so this holds 50 million RF now. That's that's pretty pimp. And this one already holds 20 million. So that's 70 million RF. I think that'll let the sword last for quite a while. I think we should be good. So we're going to go ahead and move you. Let me get rid of some of this stuff. I'm picking up. Oh, man. It took so long to make all those Endarian blocks. It was actually cheaper for me. Not cheaper, but uh, much faster to make these blocks if I would have left my Emerald Generation going. So I was kind of sad about that. So let's go take on the Gaia Guardian. And like I said, this should be a relatively short episode. I always say it, but this time my intention is actually to kind of keep it short. I really want to start doing stuff not only that I want to do, but stuff that you guys would enjoy watching. So just remember. All right, guys. So right here I'm doing a little talk over because I do apologize. Um, I didn't check my sound volume levels and hadn't put in a second channel for the game sounds over my voice sounds at this point. And so basically the music is just so loud that it completely drowns me out talking, but um, I'm gonna bring it back up a little bit, just not quite as loud as it was, and hopefully uh, it doesn't bother you guys too much. I do apologize, it did, I totally forgot how loud the music was for the Gaia Guardian, so um, I hope you guys are enjoying the episode, and uh, that's all I got for you right now. I did move all the pylons down a level, and I'm thinking I don't like it because I can't run under them anymore, so I keep running into them in fights. I've done the Gaia Bias fight a couple times because I want to see how good this Sonic armor was. And it wasn't like a gnawing Like the guy thought it was just super simple at that point. But uh... Ooh. I didn't even see what type of damage... What type of damage that sword doing? 140 attack, okay. So yeah, that's pretty epically sick. Um... Let's see. Whoa, he just... He was really quick and I can't sprint because I'm too fast. But when I hit him, I hit him hard. Can I shoot you? I'm just curious. Can I shoot you? I don't know if that's doing damage to him. It doesn't look like it. It looks like my protect off is getting down. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, that looks kind of good. There we go. Now you're up in the air. Yeah. Bring on your silly little mob. Bring them on. Yeah, I kill them all one swipe. One fail swoop for you uh, William Shakespeare fans out there. Five by, uh, the new sword is 5x5 five five automatically. But yeah, as you can see, the Sky Guardian. With Chronic Evolution, he's not going to hold that off. So that kind of changed the game. That was a game changer. Oh, oh. I can't even fight. And he's moving for 
Oh, I don't see where he's going. Holy cow, he's back. Stand back. There you go. There you go. I'm going to take a couple more hits. One or two more hits. One more level. All right. So basically, that's the Gaia 2. Not really all that impressive. Uh, Draconic is way overpowered when it comes to that aspect. So what did I get? Did I get anything cool? Um, <clears throat> I got three Runes of Envy. That's something new. Uh, some Mana Pearls, some Mana Steel. He gave me a lot of goodies, actually. Oh, there's more room. Um, I don't need sugar. I got some Rune of Springs. Let's see. Did I pick up everything? Looks like it. 16 Gaia Spirit, which is twice as many. So that's that's kind of cool. Um, I've got a couple Elementium Swords. I think those are what the uh, Wither Skeleton was carrying. That's kind of cool. Um, what's this? A Dice of Fate? Ooh, that's something to check out. You know what? Let's, let's check out the Dice of Fate. Let's see what that is about before we finish up. Oh, there's another heart. Okay, so there is outline stuff here. Oh, I didn't have room for the heart. Um, what don't I need? I don't need the Minencio. Where'd that heart go? Where'd that yellow heart go? I can always use the hearts because I need heart canisters for when I take on the Chaos Dragon. Because that's one thing I will do is have my heart canisters maxed out when I take out the Chaos Dragon. Not that I think it matters because I think one it's like a one hit kill once my freaking shield goes down. So we'll see. But anyways, let's check out the Dice of Fate. Dice of Fate. You don't even have a a thing. There's there's no description for it. Um, the dice lands on three. You notice that it transforms into something else. Oh, what is this? An eye of the flugel. Soulbound to cider havoc relic. What is this? Eye of the flugel. Um, unlike the fabricated flugel tiara. The Eye of the Flugel contains primordial flugel magic, magic strong enough, in fact, to harness the flugel's ability to recall themselves into a place they visited. Uh, shift right clicking with this eye somewhere will bind it to that position. After that, holding right click for a while will recall the user back to the teleportation ability not only costs mana, but cannot be executed across two different dimensions. Okay, but that's within the area. So if I... If I set, you know, my flugel here to Batania, like a so, that's my block, and then I just hold right. Okay, to bring me here. That's cool. Let's go ahead and put that in my, it's my ender chest, but it's basically my Batania satchel. So we'll go ahead and throw you in there along with the book, and then got some Terra Steel and some pearls, and throw the Elementium Sword and uh, some Gaia Spirit in there, and the rest of this is all junk. So. We can just throw that in the inventory. And yeah, so that's the that was the Gaia 2. That was uh, something new and different. And, ooh, Will of Guth. Ooh. Craft the Terrestrial Helmet to add the following effect. Critical hits heal for a portion of the damage dealt. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I'm not going to use it at the moment because, let's be honest, the Terrestrial Armor has nothing on my uh, <coughs> my other armor. So... Uh, my uh, draconic armor so anyways guys that's uh like i said really quick episode um so next time just uh keep in mind what you guys want me to do put it in the comments of this video if you would like me to see to move on to witchery go ahead and put that down if you want to see me get back to thomcraft and uh get going in the direction of thomcraft go ahead and put that and then if you want to see me getting towards the reactor so i can try to get to 1 billion rf per tick because that's probably the way i want to do it let me know and then oh, let's get the book updated okay so I want to show you this. This my book kind of skitzed out. I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden, a lot of my things went to these black blocks. I don't know what happened. If it was a coding issue or what? But I know this one is the Zavikio armor, which we have done, and then this one is Kill the Ender Dragon, which we've done. Uh, we haven't hatched an egg yet, but I want to do that. Um, haven't created a maximum size reactor yet. Uh, create a turbine from the big reactors. We did do that. Um, we are well over 10,000 RF per tick. Uh, we actually have exceeded 100,000 RF per tick. We're not to a million, though. Um, Draconic Helm I have. What's this one? Uh, automate storage of ore dust from an automated... Sim yeah, did that already. Uh, got the chest plate. Got the leggings. Got the boots. 
I didn't make the pickaxe yet. I did not make the axe or the shovel or the hoe. Uh, and the staff of power is coming next. So that's what. Automate wither kill, and we did. Uh, <laughs> haven't done the kill off the uh, chaos dragon, so I definitely haven't done four of them. Um, a tier six energy core. I don't even know what that is. Um, this is the charm of dislocation, right? Yeah, okay. So we, we obviously made the charm of dislocation. And then um, what else do we got? Uh, resurrect one of the dragons. We did that. Uh, jump between. I haven't done that yet. We're way away from there, way away from there. And then 20. So we're getting close on the book. We're getting pretty close on the book. But I'm curious about this core thing, this tier 6 core. What is a tier 6 core? I would think that's probably something... Maybe it's uh, the chaotic core. Is that what they're talking about? I don't know. Um, tier six. I don't know. I don't know what the tier six core is. That's interesting. Hmm. It's okay. We'll play around and try to figure out what... Uh, what people out there think it is but uh, my farms are working excellent I got 375 levels and this is currently sharing XP between this I don't know is it going up at all no it's going all to my emerald farm right now which is totally fine I haven't been uh, doing any enchantment lately anyway so so until next time guys y'all know the deal I'm Slider Havoc and I'm out of here peace